Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2019. Trying to figure things out a little bit. I don't know how well we're doing, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's go and start the engine over here. When we finished up last time, we actually had hired a worker over here to do some, uh, some plowing for us. And uh, when we had hired him, he had kind of, we had already lined him up incorrectly, so he missed a spot. So we're going to go ahead and finish up this last little spot. Make sure everything looks good. And then we'll uh, we'll get our other tractor over here to start seeding stuff. Actually, between seeding, we will probably fertilize first. So, actually, what we're going to do then is get you off over here. Uh, still trying to remember the controls. I'm going to go ahead and drop you off over here somewhere. Grab a little fertilizer thingamajigger. I guess I didn't have to lower it to drop it, but it just always looks so funny when I drop it from way up. Come over here. Grab our fertilizer. And get over here to, to fertilize. Uh, let's double check the to make sure everything is exactly how we expect it. Um, that's not what I wanted. Keep it the wrong buttons. Um, everything looks like it says it's cultivated. And if we head over here, apparently we missed some... What? I'm confused. Keep it in the wrong buttons, but I'm confused. What is those lines? I mean, we're good. We're clean here. Like, we're just dirt at this point. But there's still some lines there that are bothering me. I don't know what those are for. It's not fertilized. Oh, we're already fertilized. So, that's what that is. Okay, so if we just do a pass with this thing, then, like, just one little strip, we might be completely fertilized. Uh, let's scooch up a little bit. Turn on the fertilizer. This might be enough. Will that turn all of that blue? All right, let's check that. Oh, this is like double fertilized now. Well, we don't need to actually fertilize a second time until we get the first crop down, but we're at least single fertilized. Like... There's a couple spots that are double fertilized now, which is a little weird, but we're going to fertilize the entire field after the crop starts growing anyway. Um, so I think this is fine. I mean, it looks like there's a little bit of, of graphical variance here, but I don't know if that means anything on here on the edges and stuff. We'll go with that. That's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and turn around and let's get you off to the side so we can get our cedar out here. Go ahead and stop the engine just in case that makes a difference on whether or not it's being used or not. Um, grab you and check here to see what's selling well. So, wow, soybeans is high, especially at the pork grain elevator, but really high at the restaurant. 975 at the restaurant. This restaurant is very easy to get to. So I'm thinking soybean <laughs> would be really good to, to sell. Uh, canola, which is that one that looks kind of like cotton here. I mean, it looks similar to the cotton shape, but obviously different because it's got different little sprouts here. That one's the canola, which we already got a little bit of that. But no, this is the soybean right here. 975. Let's let's plant some soybean. Okay. Get you over here. Line you up. Oh, it's not a very well lined up. I'm just kind of overlapped edge just a little bit just so it guarantees that it gets it. All right, uh, and one thing before I do this, let me double check something. I want to make sure our other ones are still growing. Yeah, okay, so the canola below us is almost ready to be harvested. The one to the far bar, far right, or bottom right, I should say, number 26, is still growing quite a bit. And that one's our sunflowers. 
Which we do need a special header for the sunflowers, but you know, at least we can use the same combine. Alright, let's get up here and um of succeed. We do want soybean. And turn on soul. Well, I guess it helps if I lower the solar, right? Because that's obviously not doing anything. Um, why is the solar not lowering? Oh, because I have the front thing selected. Derp. All right, now we can lower solar. That's what I'm looking for. There's nice little rows. And for now, just because I'm lazy. I'm going to hire a worker. It's lowering our profits a little bit, but the worker's going to be fine. Uh, dude, seriously? Oh. Okay. Why do we have a gap missing there? I'm going to watch you for a second, do another pass. Because I'm not sure, because it seems like the bumpiness is causing us to miss something. Is that just the, the nature of the this tractor not being technically strong enough? Uh, actually, hold up for a second. It looks like the bumpiness of the thing in front of us is not working very well. Um, if we select tool, lower additional tank. Like, if it's on the ground, will that work better? Or is he going to raise it back up again? No, he'll keep it. He is keeping it lowered, and I th think that's going to take out some of the bumpiness. Hopefully he's smart enough to do what we need to do. Although he's probably going to have to raise it in order to turn. Will he be smart enough to raise it? Yes, he will. Is he going to lower it back down again? This may not be a good enough tractor for this, quite frankly. I think this thing did say it needed, what, 150? I'll check here in a second. Or was that the cultivator? Okay, he's... Did he lower the front? He did lower the front back down. Okay. Maybe because we didn't have it lowered initially, he decided not to do it originally. I mean, we can clean up that one little patch if that's all it was. But it does look less bumpy at the moment. All right, cool. Uh, just because I am curious. Um, cedars. What was the horsepower on this thing? 100. And the tractor he's using is, what, 90? <laughs> Oops. We probably should use our other tractor. That's all right. It's getting the job done. Barely, but it's getting the job done. All right, we're going to let you run. Um, let's move over to our other tractor. And first thing I'm going to do is clean a little bit of stuff up. Got to put things in a little bit more lined up spot just so everything looks good. Alrighty, um, lower spreader and detach. Let's come over and grab the cultivator, which again, we may not actually need, but for the moment, we're going to, we've already paid like the first initial cost. And as long as we're not paying the per hour cost anytime soon, it's not going to cost us that much. Um, so for now, I am going to keep it just in case we decide we have a use for it. Is it possible the cultivator is cheaper? I doubt it. There's, I would imagine the cultivator is more expensive. Let's check. Cultivator. Uh, that's not what I want. I want. Now I am doing all of these as one big uh, set of episodes. Like I'm not doing these. Uh, I'm doing these all in one day. Day is what I'm trying to say. Goodness. Um, but. Uh, so if you're having any comments or anything like that, I'm probably not seeing it, but I'll definitely check the comments here in a few days when these start going up. So this needs 100 horsepower, so that's fine. And what was it like? Oh yeah, I was going to the price. So this one's $18,000 versus the subsoiler, which is probably only, what, 10000 yeah. So this one's even cheaper. Per day, 100 180 
Like, is there any benefit of this at all? Like, what does this do that the other thing doesn't? I mean, that cultivates, but... You know, I guess this is what Google is for. Subsoiler versus power... Subsoiler versus power of attorney. <laughs> okay, thanks, Google. Uh, power... Harrows. Power hero. Um, let's see here. Is there anything related to farming? Farming simulator. Plowing and cultivation tips. Uh, Subsolars are lighter, less demanding, and cheaper. And the only distinguishing thing between subsoilers and plows is that you can use plows to create new fields or combine existing ones. So that makes sense. Plowing is not always required. In, all, in the case of common grains, cultivation is often enough. So cultivation, plowing you only really need to do once every three uh, cycles is my understanding. Um, so that's fine. Plowing, plowing is required when you want to change the crop. Some plants require plowing before planting, such as potatoes, beets, reeds, and beets. Fair enough. And then, of course, the plowing is recommended every few cycles so you can get the extra yield. Cultivation is good enough for preparing, for preparing the field for most crops. Cultivation can be performed instead of the arduous plowing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's fine. Um, they are characterized by high work speed, lower price, lower power equipment to the tractor. However, they do not combine. Okay, so the power harrows are need less power from the tractor, and apparently they go a little bit faster. So that's I guess that's a reason to keep it, because technically the tractor will move a little faster with that compared to the other thing, apparently. Let's see if that shows up in uh, in here. Nine miles an hour versus um, seven miles an hour. I mean, it's only two miles an hour difference, but and on these smaller fields, not really that much difference. But on the bigger fields, it does add up. All right, what else do we need at this point? I actually don't know that we need any else. We're going at five speed right now, which is fine for the moment. Uh, looks like our uh, worker over there is completed. So if we come over here to this. Okay, a couple of spots did get missed, as expected. Um... What I wanted, I want to come back up here to the fruit types. So I'll swap this over. Okay, so it is growing, um, except for those little spots. So we need to go fix that little spot, which is fine. So let's come over to you. Um, start the engine, get over there. Woo! A little bit bumpy. Come over here and we'll just clean this little spot up. Uh, let's lower the tank and turn on the sower. And lower the sower. I mean, technically it's going to sow a little bit more. Uh, actually, it doesn't look like it's using any seed on the spots that we've already sown. Um, why are you not sowing? You are lowered, right? Why are you not sewing? Hmm, it's going to be frustrating. Is it because of somehow... I'm not going to lie, I'm confused. Why are you not sewing? Okay, worker didn't do it either. What is going on? Um... Okay. Lower sower. Back up for a second. And turn on sower. Really? 
You're not going to do... Okay, there I did a small section. Is it just because it's trying to do a section that I've already done? It's saying I don't need to do it or something weird? There we go. Okay, I think we're good now. Sort of. <laughs> Let's see. I can't tell. Looks like there's still two spots left, which is annoying me. I don't think you're really supposed to be backing up with this thing, but we're going to go with it for a second. The fact that it missed it at all is a little silly. All right, whatever. Um, if I go over here, it does look like there's still two spots missing, but it's not as bad as it was. So, oh, all is well, I suppose. Turn off sower, lift sower. Let's get out of here. Go drop this stuff off over here. So since the power heroes and stuff like that are, you need less power for those because they are powered. Uh, that's probably the one that I need to use this tractor for. And then this tractor, they, they stuff, the cedar stuff probably should be the more powerful tractor technically next time. I do need to go back and pick up my other weight at some point here. It's coming up. So I'm going to drop you back off over here. Um, let's see, lower it and detach it. And as far as the seed, I'll just put you over here. It's going to be fine. Or I'll just run into the fence. Lower additional tank and detach. Alright, so that seems alright. And again, pretty weak tractor. We may get rid of this one at some point, but... It'll work for now. I suppose the good thing... I guess I was saying I should turn off the tractors when I'm not using them. I guess I didn't lease these. I actually did buy these. Um, so it's not not as big of a deal. But uh, obviously I don't want them just sitting there running up with gas or maintenance costs. There's a wage payment. Oh, it's because I used it during that hour. I was like, why is there a wage payment when I like use it for five minutes? So I guess the pay comes out if I use it at any point during that hour. Hmm. Interesting to think about. Or maybe that's what that's doing. Okay. So, uh, actually, we do need to go get the other weight. What else do we need? We will need... We will need to get cultivators and stuff like that eventually. But not yet. Let's go look at this real quick. And we're still just barely growing right now. Once we get into the first stage of growth on number 24, we will fertilize it at that point again to get the... Um, maxed out fertilization which you can see in a couple places there but uh, we'll get it all over the place once the first stage comes out i uh, also need to be ready to weed things if necessary uh, number 25 does need lime so we'll need a lime thing after we harvest that we will need a harvester at some point need a trader to get over here could go use this tiny tractor to go at least get a trailer i think i may do that um and the trailer I actually want to start with is this one over here. And the reason I want to start with this one is because it does have a lot of customization options. Um, I can upgrade the um, capacity. I can also turn it into a like a flatbed. So I can buy it, and then if I need to change it or increase it or anything like that, then I have those options. Um, go with cover, without cover, things like that. So I think this is going to be fine. Michelin Lizard. I guess we'll just go with the trailer Borg. We'll leave it at capacity 4,000 because obviously our stuff's not going to be that much. Uh, and I think we do want to buy this one. We're going to use these trailers quite a bit. Um, the total price is 8000 so we will actually need to come back over here. And go to here. And we will need to take out some loans. Um, I think I'm going to take out... Excuse me, sorry, I hit the mic. Uh, a couple thousand dollars worth of loans. Probably about 50000 Just to get us going a little bit. And... Start with that. I mean, that 50000 what's what, 1% is, what, $500 a day that we're paying back? So that's not going to be too bad. So let's go ahead and do the trailer. We'll go ahead and buy this one. Everything looks fine. The tire's okay. We'll just, again, we'll just use the, the smaller capacity. And we'll take this tractor over there. Just so we can pick up its weight and pick up the trailer at the same time. And again, pretty weak tractor in general, but I think it's okay. It gets the job done. So 
some point we may get a truck as well to haul the tra trailer around. Actually, that would have been a good thing too. If I didn't have to come back and pick up the weight, I might have grabbed a truck because it obviously is quite a bit faster. Well, I probably need to end up buying, borrowing more money just to get the uh, harvester as well. I'm swerving. I'm sorry. Just a little bit of a, I'm not really a tick, but like a little, just every once in a while, I'm just like, eh, I gotta hit the button, do something. What is cruise control? L and B, B. Okay. Or L and B. L, L, B and R, B, I should say. Left and right buttons and the B button. Bridge speed, 15 miles. What, what bridge? Is there a bridge over here? I don't think there's a bridge over here. I'm not sure what it's talking about. I like this car. This is just barely in the road. I could technically nudge it up a little bit. There's no actual, like, damage. There is, like, maintenance that you have to do, but no actual damage. I have accidentally forgotten that I had a vehicle auto running, like auto uh, um, cruise control on. And, um accidentally um ran off into a river like off a cliff into a river <laughs> nothing happened because you know they don't need to sim everything okay let's connect the weight and then oh, that's not the way i want to go come back over here and grab the trailer I don't think there's anything we need to haul the trailer out there for now. I mean, we could haul seed out and stuff like that, but I don't think that's going to be necessary right this second. We could haul the seed. We could also haul the um, fertilizer. Like Either one of those things would go in the trailer, but then we'd be stuck with the stuff in the trailer. I'm going to dump it on the ground somewhere or something like that, but, you know, what's the point? Hello, black car. Where are you going? I think I should be returning right back there. I, don't, I mean, there's a lot of traffic. There is traffic on the map, obviously. Usually a lot of traffic on some of the more main roads and around the shopping place. I don't think I've seen any cars come out this way, though. So, usually pretty quiet. We're going to need to get a uh, harvester out here. The harvesters go very slowly. Probably going to need to buy, borrow some money to get the harvester in the first place. And since we know that our canola will be done first, we'll get just a standard uh, harvest header. I mean, we could plow under this, the sunflower seeds just so we can save ourselves the time of, or the money of getting another header. But honestly, the the rest of the process is basically the same between the sunflowers and uh, you know all the other ones. That one extra header, I don't think, is going to break us. I'm going to check my time. I just realized my uh, recording thing is minimized. Now we're still okay. We'll probably cut up, call it here in a second once we get out to the farm. Not the fastest tractor in the world, but it'll get the job done. Probably gonna have to borrow more money to get the uh, harvester. I think the ch cheapest harvester is, I think, eighty-five thousand. Um, and I probably would rather get one of the better harvesters anyway. So probably gonna go with one of the hundred, hundred ten thousand dollar ones. So yeah, we'll definitely have to borrow some money. I'll just drop you off over here somewhere. our trailer. Let's park our tractor back over here. And done with that. Uh, you know, we got a little bit extra time. Maybe before I quit, let's actually go look at the uh, harvesters. Yeah, we could move those bison after what I've done in the past. But, I mean, all of them are slow. 
I go with this new Holland, it's at least three miles per hour faster. Not much, but it's something. I mean, I can go with a much more expensive one, but it's just getting crazy. I think we got to start off a little bit small. Probably start with this new Holland and probably be okay with that. I mean, the Nova would be fine. Um, but honestly, the new Holland does have a higher, lower horsepower, but has a higher capacity. Although I think I don't think any of our fields really fill up any of these things anyway. So we need $100,000 to buy you. Let's go ahead and buy you real quick, and then we'll probably call the stream there. Or stream. <laughs> Sorry about that. The, uh, the the video there. All right, that's exactly 100000 Um, I'm just going to go up to a $150,000 loan total because we're going to have to be some incidental expenses along the way. Um, and we'll start with that. So let's come back over here. Buy you. Harvester. New Holland. And I guess we will buy this one. I mean, it's going to eventually pay for itself. Well, I say that. We're just not, we're not using it a whole lot. So the per operating hour probably isn't going to catch up. It's too much. And it would take us a hundred days just to get the per, per day to, to cost as much as the actual harvester itself. But these things are so slow. They do get to that per hour. You know what? We're going to buy it. We already borrowed all the money. Um, and then we're going to get the header. It'll have to be the new Holland header. Just curious if I could ever upgrade to one of these other ones, but I don't think so. Um, oh, I know what the other one was. It was the corn header so that you can also get, which is the corn champion 5R here that we can also connect, I think. Yep. Connects to the TX32 or the Nova 330, which we have the TX32. Right? That is the one we have, right? Uh, not beat technology harvesters. Yeah, TX32. So the Nova could have uh, used the same header that the uh, the Corn Champion header, which is fine. All right, Mr. Header. Um, and this thing I think we will lease because we're not going to be using this very often. I say that. I mean, it's going to be used just as much as the, the Harvester. So if we were going to buy the Harvester, we might as well bought this or bought that. Um... We'll lease it for now. I think it's going to be fine. Might be a mistake, but this, that, the maxing this, this thing goes six miles per hour. So actually, all said and done, that new Holland is literally the exact same thing as that, that Bison because the tool itself can only go six. Good to know about. I think right there can do sunflowers only. All right, let's go ahead and just... I don't know. Do I want to buy it? Do I want to lease it? We are going to use this thing up quite a bit once it's all said and done. Whatever. Let's buy it. I mean, if we have to borrow another $500,000 total, I'm not going to be that worried about it. I think it's going to be fine in the long run. And I think we're going to put our cut in there. Um, when we come back, we will uh, go ahead and swap to it. We'll go ahead and hook up our Holland to its header and get it out to the farm. So I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.